Time now is 6-12, and as the nor'easter continues to leave its mark throughout the day, there have been concerns about how weather conditions may increase the risk of power outages in certain areas. And joining us live this morning is Eversource spokesperson Priscilla Ress, who's here to give us more insight on the outages they've seen so far with Eversource. And Priscilla, it's been a tough morning already. Oh, good morning, Rich. It certainly has been. We're up to something like 8,000 outages, mostly up in the Berkshires, up in the hill towns, um, as we expected. But as of about 3.30 this morning, we started um, to see those outage numbers start to come in. As you've said, I mean, this is a, a very heavy, wet snow, and clearly that's causing problems. Um, I just got off the phone with our operations manager who says that at this point, um, we are not seeing blocked roads, meaning there aren't trees down blocking our progress. Um, what the big challenge right now is those driving conditions. You know, it is a, it is a thick, uh, heavy snow, and we have those big bucket trucks, so we are moving slowly and steadily. All of our crews, uh, our internal crews, they're all in, and we have uh, hundreds of contractors, and they are just about to also um, start making their way into those towns and uh, begin uh, helping. They're not beginning. They've been working since 3.30 this morning. Um, they are going to, to continue the efforts to get that power back on as quickly and, of course, as safely as possible. You know, we were also going to be challenged by the wind if that high wind kicks in. You know, we have bucket trucks and those buckets go up, what, 20, 30, 40 feet in the air. So you can't put a bucket up when there are high winds and, and risk, you know, any kind of, of injury to crews. You also will hear the stories of, of people who are working on those lines and you've got that heavy snow and you've got branches that can continue uh, to come down even as they're they're working to restore power. Yeah, it is not easy. I know you've, and it's really, if you don't have anywhere to go today, just stay off the roads because it is not good driving conditions right now. And as you said, we got to give the plows a chance to clear up the roads right now. At least you had a couple of days to prepare for this. You knew that it was coming and you knew it was probably not going to be very yeah. good. So at least you had a chance to get contractors lined up and ready to go. You know, and that's that's also part of the challenge. This is a widespread storm, so we have to be prepared. We have to be able to react quickly and get those contractors, secure those contractors, and also get them here, you know, get them ready to go. So as I said, they're ready, and um, we are ready, and we have crews that are, you know, we have the tree crews as well. So a lot of times they'll work in concert with our line workers to be sure that we can get those roads clear, get the branches off of those lines, off of damaged equipment. And, you know, that's a real, um, that that partnership is important. Plus our partnerships with the towns. The towns uh, work very closely with us to get those roads clear, to get those trees out of the way and let us do our job as quickly and safely as, as we possibly can. Yeah, that's great advice. Stay off the roads, let the crews do the work because it's not an easy job and hopefully you'll get the power back on and restored as quickly as possible. Yeah. Priscilla and Rich, will you also, you know, Cynthia, one of the, we, we want to remind people, this is, you know, when, when lines come down, you can't tell if a line, that just because it's broken, doesn't mean that it isn't still conducting electricity. Stay clear, call 911, let the professionals handle this. And that's what we're here to do. Stay connected, use that Eversource app, let us know if indeed you do have an outage and you can also follow our progress um, and we appreciate uh, your patience and we keep our fingers crossed that we just uh, that your power stays on. Yeah, no doubt about it. Priscilla Rest with <laughs> Eversource. Thanks very much. We appreciate your insight. Great advice this morning as well and good luck with the getting the power restored.